Thank you. Uh, I will not risk a prediction on, on Brexit. Um, back, in, back in December, uh, as PwC, we sponsored an economist uh, conference in London, um, which took place at the London Stock Exchange premises, and we were graced uh, by Kenneth Clark's uh, presence. So Kenneth Clark is the longest serving member of the, of the House of Commons, the so-called father of the house. And it was amazing to see uh, what his predictions were. Uh, and how things sort of developed from that. And I think whatever he predicted sort of turned out to be almost correct up to now. So I will not risk a prediction on, on Brexit. Um, if we have time now, I'd like to reflect on some of what the previous panels talked about. Um, and I think I'll, I'll start by what Mr. Elroy uh, said uh, initially, that uh, Israeli companies are using Cyprus as the gateway to the European Union. And I think that's how we should be viewing Cyprus, not, not as a country, a small country that it, that it is, but as a country full member of the European Union with access to the single market. Um, and um, Cyprus can be the regional and the European headquarters of a lot of non-EU um, uh, corporations. Um, the US has recently been discovering Cyprus. We've made a lot of progress there. I think there's a lot more to be done. Um, but also we have a lot of interest from you know, the, 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 uh, the adjacent area of the Middle East, uh, India, China, and even again in the, in the, in the Economist in London, um, uh, somebody from Australia uh, took the, the stage and said that he moved to Cyprus with his business because that's a wonderful place to do business uh, from. Um, now, Minister Yoriadis said that um, Cyprus is a small replica of the city of London. Um, and that's true in a, in a sense. We have the biggest concentration of UK trained accountants outside the UK and similar for the, for the, legal, for the legal, legal profession. Um, he talked about the education. Um, the University of Cyprus is amongst the top 200 new universities of the world and two of our universities are amongst the top three universities of New Europe. New Europe being everybody who joined the European Union from 2004 um, and, and, and later. Uh, that gives an ecosystem of research and development that I know Dimitra wanted to, to talk about. Um, and that ties in with some of the incentives that the minister talked about earlier. We have very good incentives for, for R&D, which is approved by the European Union and by the OECD, what is called the IP box or Nexus approach. Um, we are the third largest ship management uh, center in the European Union um, and amongst the top 10 worldwide. Um, shipping accounts for about 7% of, uh, of Cyprus GDP. Um, funds, Andreas uh, explained um, you know, the funds uh, legislation and how we, what we aspire to be. I'm very excited about uh, funds and again Dimitra as a supervisory authority can talk about it a, a lot more. But essentially, a fund is a, is, a, is a pooling vehicle. And what you need is extremely strong regulation. And that's what we are setting up in Cyprus for probably a third of the cost of being elsewhere in the European Union. So I would suggest that uh, you know, this, is, this is an area that needs to be, needs to be looked at. Uh, for Brexit, um, obviously companies are looking for their options. There's a lot of discussion about you know, moving to certain jurisdictions. Uh, again, Cyprus is a common law country, for, so for, for UK uh, companies or non-EU companies that have been in the European <coughs> Union, which like to be under common law, the English legal system, Cyprus is one of a couple of options that exist within the European Union. Everywhere else in the European Union, you're talking about civil law. So if you're accustomed to common law, English legal system, then Cyprus is one of the options that needs to be considered. We have a new double tax treaty with the UK, which has been signed and it's effective. So that means that even if the UK leaves the European Union without any agreement, uh, transactions between Cyprus and the, and the United Kingdom will be at even more beneficial terms than when the UK was in the European Union. Um, energy, again, very excited. I understand there's a panel later on. But when the energy thing will come into place, the whole package will change, the whole economic model of Cyprus will change. Somebody talked about the image earlier on. 
Yes, probably there's no image thing when you're investing and buying NPLs into Cyprus, but we have to be honest, when people think about having to set up their business in Cyprus, they do look at the past and they do look at the image. We are taking steps forward and we believe that the uh, Manival uh, visit this month will show the positive steps that Cyprus has, uh, has taken so far.